All right, folks, so today we're going to go through the process of signing up for and uh, preparing a number of different accounts. We're going to walk you through our Schoology page real quickly here and show you how to get to that. I'm going to take you to the YouTube page for Mr. King's YouTube page and have you subscribe to that. I'm going to take you to my PLTW, which is where our class materials will be. I have you sign up for an account to that and access our course. And I'm going to take you to our Autodesk page and have you sign up for an account to that as well. Lots of things going on. Number one thing I want you to see here is in Schoology, um, to access the Schoology page consistently, the best way to get there is to type into the address bar hasdhawks.schoology.com. If you just go to Schoology.com, it won't always work the right way and it won't have you log in correctly. So you want to go to hasdhawks.schoology.com and that will take you to the correct Schoology page. So I encourage you to try going there and make sure it functions correctly. Make sure you can get to our course page and it logs in correctly. It should use your Google login um, and log you in uh, directly to our Schoology page and you should find our Schoology course there. All information I post for our class on all assignments I'll push out for the class will be available on our Schoology page. So again, hasdhawks.schoology.com. Go there and access our course. I'm gonna start showing you what that looks like here. Please go ahead and get in so you can see what I'm talking about. This is our Schoology course. The one for our class will have a light bulb, a bunch of crumbled paper. On the main materials page, you'll see a number of different things. And I've shown you this before, the Onshape CAD tool sign up, Mr. King's YouTube channel. So intro materials I'm gonna go over with you today. Unit one, which is where I'm gonna put some things I want you to access on unit one. And then this policies and procedures here is the a PowerPoint I went over the first two days. So if you have any questions about what's required for the class or my grading policies or anything like that, you'll find it in this link here. So go ahead and get access to our Schoology page and check this out. All right, once you're here, please click on Mr. King's YouTube channel. When you do, it'll take you here. You'll know you're in the right place because there's an airplane in the background and my picture here. On the side over here, you'll see a button that says subscribe. This year, I'm requiring all my students to subscribe to the channel using their Hack 12 email address. So please make sure at the top, as you click this button, verify you're logged into Google with your hack12.org email address. If you are, click the subscribe button here. By doing so, you'll make sure you have access to all of the materials I'll be posting on the YouTube channel this year for the course. I'm going to show you in a moment here where those materials will live for this class. Please make sure you click that subscribe button so you have access to the materials. It's up to you how you want to handle that. If you want to get notifications or not, if you want to subscribe to a particular playlist or not. So I want you to have access to this YouTube playlist from anywhere because depending upon what happens, all the materials, including this video I'm recording right now, will be available to you through this YouTube channel. All right, so you can see here under my name, there's a button for playlists. So I click on playlists. You'll see a number of different playlists that are created. Right now I have a 2020 Pro and a 2020 POE playlist for my advanced students. As soon as this video is done, I'll have a 2020 IED playlist as well, and it will contain this video. Let me show you what those will look like. Okay, so that was Schoology and subscribing to the YouTube page. Once we get the YouTube page fixed, that's the place I'm going to upload all of the videos. Um, if you continue to have problems with the YouTube channel, I will post links to everything you need to see on Schoology directly. The videos will work. It's just sometimes the home page doesn't display the way I'd like for it to. The next thing we need to go through is our my.pltw logins. You're going to create an account and you're going to access the course for this page. I'm going to walk you through that process now. 
if we go back to our Schoology page into intro materials, you'll find creating an account from MyPLTW. You don't necessarily have to click on that because I'm going to have it up here on the screen for you, but just so you know where it exists, if you need to access it in the future for any reason. When I embed a PDF into a page on Schoology, this is what it's going to look like. You can scroll through it here or hit the pop out button to see it in a new tab, which is what I'm going to do today. All right, you're each going to have to walk through this process now. Go to my.pltw.org. Let me zoom this in a little so you can see it easier. Go here and click Create Student Account. It says enter a nickname you'd like to associate with the account. Just use your name or first dot last, something along those lines, so I'll know who you are. It says do not use your first and last name. So you're going to put your first and last name in it eventually here. You create a nickname that's unique to your class. Walk through and enter the rest of the information. Make sure your birth date is correct. A personal email address would be your school email address when you get to that point. Okay, once that account has been created, we now need to associate you with our class. Please click that login to PLTW button in the bottom corner and log in with the account that you just created. The email address associated with your account will receive a welcome email providing guidance in the next steps you need to take to enroll in classes. Now, if you are not already enrolled in a class, which you will not be, you should see an option to enroll on your home page. It should see, you should see join a new class front and center on your home page. After clicking the join a new class button, you're going to need the class code. The class code is on this page directly below the PDF. This is the class code to join my Introduction to Engineering Design course. Please enter this class code in all caps to join the class. Do so now. So that is creating your Project Lead the Way account and joining the class. Lastly, we need to create your Autodesk accounts and get you access to Fusion 360. To do so, we are going to go to google.com, follow along folks, and type in here Autodesk Education. We'll select the first link. This is the Autodesk Education homepage. You'll want to click the sign in button. And then here where it says new to Autodesk, create an account, click the create an account button. For the email, please be sure to use your school hack 12 email account or this will not work. 
follow through this process to complete the creation of your Autodesk account, and I'll move on to the next step. Once you've created your account, you need to sign in. Please make sure you sign into your account using the information that you just provided them. You want to end up back at this page with your initials in a little blue bubble at the top. Sign into the account, end up back at this page where it says Autodesk Education. We then want to select Get Products. Right here. Get Products. We'll click on Get Products. And we want to get access to Fusion 360. So do you see here it says unlock educational access to Autodesk products? We want to say sign in. You know, I already signed in. And then it should say, hi, your name. And it should say how long your educational access is valid. If not, it'll take you through a process to validate your account. For most of you, this is going to ask you to get started. There'll be a button down here that says get started. And it's going to walk you through a process of verification, starting off with a verification email. You'll have to go to your email address and verify your email address and move forward from there. If you have problems completing this process, please ask. Thank you very much.